hair breaking and you don't know what to do about it, then today's video is made especially for you. Hi friends, I am Dr. Jyoti Kannan and welcome to our hair series. So today we are going to discuss that what are the reasons that your hair is breaking so much so that you can correct those and take necessary treatment for those. So before we go to why the hair breaks, you have to understand certain important things about the hair. Now our hair has got three layers, the outermost being the cuticle, then the cortex and the innermost being medulla. Now certain hair don't have medulla but our scalp hair and the coarse hair always have medulla. Now cortex is an important layer that is the second layer or the between layer because that is which is made of keratin and it provides the um, uh, pigment to our hair. Now to protect this cortex we have the cuticle and today's star is cuticle because cuticle if damaged it causes breaking of hair. Now cuticle resembles something like fish scales. The cells overlap each other so that anything and everything does not enter inside our hair and does not affect our cortex. Now this cuticle if gets damaged then of course it causes breaking. Cuticle other than all, or as I told you protects the cortex it has an, another important function that is hydration balance. So cuticle is a very important thing for our hair as it protects the hair. Now what are the reasons that the cuticle gets affected and our hair breaks? Now hair breaks because mainly of two reasons. The first reason being we ourselves create the breaking of hair that is lifestyle disease, lifestyle which damages the hair. And the second thing is the diseases of hair which is not in our control yet our hair breaks because of it and for those diseases of course you have to take the treatment. Now what are the things in your lifestyle which you can correct so that this video is going to help you all about it. Now the first important thing you are supposed to take care is your diet. If the diet is not good and you are going more of junk food or eating outside more frequently and your diet lacks vitamins, minerals, iron, folic acid and zinc then of course that is one of the reasons why your hair is breaking. So please correct your diet so that your hair does not break. The second important reason, <coughs> I'm sorry, is the stress. Now who is not stressed? We all are stressed. Everybody has stress. But if the stress increases, then naturally it pushes your hair to the falling stage or the telogen stage. To know more about the telogen stage, kindly follow the link below because that link will take you to the, my video on hair cycle and stages where about telogen stage it is told in detail. Now, if this telogen stage or falling stage extends, then it's called as telogen effluvium where the growth of the hair gets abruptly stopped and the hair breaks as well as you lose lot of hair too. So, stress has got very bad impact on our body and we have to correct or try to deal with the stress which is going around. Now the next thing which causes a dryness of a hair or breaking of a hair is dryness. If we are residing in a very dry and hot weather, of course that is one of the reasons why our hair is breaking. Then if the heat itself can damage your hair. Now what does heat damage mean? Heat damage means like if you are using too many tools like straighteners, curlers and rods and if you are using too much of chemical treatment and you are coloring your hair frequently, you are highlighting your hair frequently, then these chemicals will make the affect the cuticle and your hair will become dry, brittle and eventually break. So still if you want to use the straighteners, I am not against using it, it is just that it would be better if you go for the ceramic options of straighteners because they evenly heat the hair causing much damage to then causing the damage to the hair. So that is about the heat damage. Now there are certain things which we daily do in our bathroom and we don't even realize that that is causing the falling and breaking of our hair. Now what are the mistakes which we all do in our bathroom? The first 
mistake what we do is that the improper application of shampoo we are all we all use shampoo and we just pour the shampoo on our hand and directly put it on our scalp now why i am against this because the shampoo is concentrated and when you apply like this it gets concentrated in only that area when you try to wash off also certain amount always remains and it makes your hair brittle and it breaks and falls off eventually then what is the right method of applying the shampoo i'll tell that also that is the right method is that pour the shampoo in your mug and then dilute it with a water shake it so that it foams then apply it on your scalp massage and remove it off that's how you are supposed to use the shampoo then is if you are taking over bathing that is people who take daily head baths now i am from kerala place where we give importance to daily head baths if you do daily head baths then what exactly happens is that your hair actually has got a oil unit with it that is the sebaceous gland or the sebum now this sebum travels from the root to the shank now if you take daily head bath then the sebum can't go out and as soon as the sebum is formed you wash it off so naturally your hair becomes dry brittle and breaks that's why we trichologists always recommend that take head baths only two or three times a week daily head baths are meant only for people who have got extremely oily hair or scalp and they don't know how to manage so to wash off excess oil then you can take a head bath then the other mistake which we do in our bathroom is like after we take a bath head bath then we take the towel put it on our head and we just vigorously rub it we want the hair to get dry faster but believe me that's not good for your hair because after you take a head bath your hair is too weak and when you brush or rub it so vigorously it just falls off or it just starts breaking so the right method is if you have long hair squeeze off the water from your hair and then take the towel and slowly rub it on do it slowly so that you don't damage and your hair stays on your scalp rather than on the towel so that's a right method of using a towel now some other mistakes also we do that is we tie our hair so tightly i have seen many people when they go for their office or when they are going out they put so many clips now nowadays men are also growing their hair so they tie something called as man that is men bun where they tie and leave it for hours together now the tight elastic band while as a tight pony will eventually make the hair dry brittle and it will break at the area where it has maximum friction so guys you are supposed to avoid all these mistakes in your lifestyle which i told you so that your hair does not break and your precious hair stays with you now certain things are not in your control that is where role of me comes that is in scalp and hair conditions now the most common condition and the most upcoming disease which we are seeing nowadays is trichorhexis nodosa don't get scared by the name because as the name seems it's not such a big disease trico means hair and nodosa means nodes so you develop nodes on your hair and the hair breaks at where there is node so a node is formed or the node is a weak point the most often in trichorhexis nodosa the nodes are seen towards the root so your hair break from here itself and it will it can be seen in a uh, very close you can see in a group of hair breaking in that particular spot now how do you understand that you have got trichorhexis nodosa see trichorhexis nodosa basically is a genetic condition but of late has been found out that people who use too much of tools or heat damage and use so many things on their chemicals on their hair they have trichorhexis or get trichorhexis nodosa there are certain other diseases too which trigger trichorhexis nodosa like hypothyroidism iron deficiency anemia which can trigger trichorhexis nodosa now how do i understand that my hair is breaking because of certain lifestyle or because of trichorhexis nodosa it's very easy if your hair breaks because of trichorhexis nodosa then at the end of that where the it's broken you can see a white discoloration which makes out it is trichorhexis nodosa because it is a weak spot that's why you see that white discoloration 
But other than trichorexis nodosa, there are other diseases too which cause breaking of hair. Now the other diseases are hypothyroidism. Now in hypothyroidism, basically the hair becomes very coarse, dry and brittle. And when these three things come, of course the hair starts breaking very easily. Now, now is the situation when lockdown is going on. So we are too stressed about it and because of stress, some people overeat. Now this disease is called bulimia nervosa where you don't have control because of your stress you overeat. Now the bad thing about this disease is that when you are overeating you don't eat the good stuff you eat the bad stuff and you always go for more of carbs or sugars. And when you don't eat the good stuff or the one which gave vitamins and minerals you have malnutrition and which again can lead to breaking of hair. The other extreme of this lockdown are the people who just have put on weight and want to lose it and they just go for crash dieting or who have anorexia that is they don't get appetite and they just don't eat and it again triggers the malnutrition. In both these extremes it's not good for your health and it's not good for your hair too because it breaks. Two more conditions to go that is iron deficiency anemia and if you have you have to correct it with the right kind of food and supplements. Now the last but not the least is the biotin deficiency which belongs to biotin belongs to vitamin B group it's also called as a vitamin H and if you are deficient of course your hair becomes dry brittle and breaks. So with this video we have covered all the things which are not good for your hair and the reasons for your hair breaks. If you still have doubts and you have got some beard doubts about your hair, please feel free to put it in the comment box. We are always there and that might help me to make another video too. If you like today's video and if you feel some of your friends is going to be useful too, please share, like and subscribe to my channel. Your one click will be very inspiring to me. So thank you. Stay tuned for more.